Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Aaron here at Dirtcat on Crafts Garage. I am going in to check on those Fairlane parts and of course to keep an eye out for everything else that we got. Uh, still, you know, still looking out for B body parts for the 73 Roadrunner because there's quite a few people including myself that wants to see that you know stored and back up on the road but uh, since I want to turn it into a Hellcat it's gonna be quite some time and I better hold this camera so don't worry I'm a good driver I'm on the dirt road as you can see it's uh, but I'll put this down once I get on the highway so that way I can have both hands but uh, sorry this, this is gonna be some very terrible camera work um, I got to, like I said, keep an eye out for parts for everything, but I'm mainly going over to look at uh, uh, Fairlane parts for the 58. And of course, too, I also have another Fairlane, a 69 uh, Fastback, which I'll also keep an uh, eye out for, for some parts. It's pretty much a complete car, but it needs a new hood because the front clip came off a of Ranchero. So I got to do some things on it to customize it back into a Fairlane uh, front clip. Need a new hood because the hood's pretty much shot. Um, it was a week beforehand when I got it back in 2004 when I got the front clip, or 2003. No, 2003 because I bought it. For, I bought that car for myself for a graduation present when I graduated from high school. So, but anywho, um, I'm gonna go down to the yard. Like I said, once I get done with my errands, and then I'll be showing some stuff that he has down there hopefully that some of you will be interested in because I'm going to advertise for him again because not only is he a family member but he's also a dear wonderful friend of mine and I do love him to death uh, there's some bear lanes down there that uh, may interest some of you so uh, so hopefully this is kind of a win-win type of situation I'm not going to post up his information like the phone number and stuff and his address but I'll just say, you know, where he's located, because he's online, you can look him up online. So, but I'm pretty much almost at the highway, so I better put this down and focus, so. Let's see um, how my errands are today. Joy of all joy, and there's some trash in the road. Many people in the litter, it looks like there's some stuff in it too, disgusting. All right, and I am back. Got all my errands done, I'm down here in the yard took a picture of that wonderful uh, that 59 uh, Lincoln Continental which I will be posting up oh, let's probably post it up already uh, don't mind me huffing and puffing I'm still losing weight still working on stuff I decided to walk down here to get my exercise in <coughs> now my my dear wonderful friend he does not have no uh, B-body stuff yet for my Roadrunner. But I'm looking at other things too. See if he has stuff, but uh, don't mind me looking around. Um, Cause there's also something I wanted to show all of you. Cause uh, my brother almost got one of these, but he decided not to. <clears throat> Which is actually right here. Which is two 64 Fairlanes. Um, this one right here is a sedan. And, uh, oh my gosh. You know what? The other one's gone. The other one was a uh, two-door hardtop sports coupe, and it was sitting right here. I thought that Mercury right there was the Fairlane, but... No, he got rid of that, that sports coupe hardtop, and it was a big block, I think. But, uh, yeah, so he's got a 54 uh, sedan out here. This is very rough. There's no rear end. This will need a lot of work. It's a five-hole automatic. Uh, I'm not going to look at too much. So... Not much to really look at on these 50, I mean these 64s, excuse me. I mean, I love all Fairlanes, but for some reason, 
64 Fairlands are too small for me. I mean, I like them, but uh, they're not my kind of cup of tea. And this Mercury here. It's kind of, well, it's a little different than mine. It's a four door and looks like the window rolls down in the back. Yeah. I can't remember what model this is. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no. Here's the sports coupe. Here's the Fairlane 500. He uh, moved it. Okay. So, uh, my apologies. Yeah, this is the. This needs tons of work. This came out of a sand dune somewhere. Hold on here. I'm trying to listen for snakes. I heard some movement. Hold on here. No, it's just the wind. We're good. So, no, this is not the big block. It's a small block. As you can see, two-door hardtop, Fairlane 564. I don't know if he's got the title for it. But, uh, this needs tons and tons of work, so I'm not going to lie to all of you. And, of course, I don't like doing that. Looks like front grill's there, missing the hood. That two door hardtop sports coupe, Ferry Lane 500. I'm not going to look it over too much because, uh, ooh, a little bit of a lip there. And as you can see, sports coupe. It's very, very rough. It's not a unibody, and uh, it's it needs tons and tons of work. So I'm gonna continue trekking on. So coming back to me. Hopefully, I can keep this straight. I gotta get a haircut. Um, I don't know what else to really look at down here. He's got 67 galaxies, but uh, nothing that I need. And all the frames on him are busted or split in half. But I still need to pull out the frame underneath my 66 if it'll fit on my 68. Excuse me. Yeah, my 68. I can't believe I forgot the, the year of it. That's pretty terrible. Um, I think this is another one. Looks like the four-door model. Yeah. Sorry for the camera work. My hand's very shaky today. This one's in rougher shape. I think the bottom's ready to fall out on this one. I can't remember. It's repairable. I know everyone's like, oh, what an easy project, easy project. To be honest... Almost anything's an easy project, you just gotta know what you're doing. Uh, the Mustang there, which I gotta look at sometime in the future, but I'm not gonna look at it right now. There's a big Ford over here. Uh, that one right there, that 54, 55. I might get that in the future and turn it into a four wheel drive project, if he still has it. But I'm in no situation to get another vehicle because uh, I'm only able to get parts and stuff now. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm trying to keep a watch out for other uh, ferry lanes and everything. See, right here's something. But uh, it's not it's not a fair lane. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> but it's got a lot of nice stuff out here. Two doors, four doors. So, um, but if you're interested in something, you have to be sincere and honest. Uh, I don't think he ships, so you have to come and get it yourself. So. somewhere oh, on this one right here it's my brother's coupe we still got to come and get it so uh, it's that club one or whatever it is 
It's in very rough shape, but we could save it. May not be original, depending on if we can actually find a V12 for it. Uh, I'm going to keep stuff looking forward here. Of course, he has a lot of a lot of Ford pickups down here. A lot of them are in very good shape. 60s and 70s. So, well, here's our first victim. It's a Fairlane 500 four door. Dang, it does not have the backup lights on it. No Continental kit. It's got the same pattern as mine, but the four door model, as stated. Looks like someone tried to uh, color it up. Um, it's very, very rough. No emblem over there. This is an automatic, because not just so you can tell of the shifter, but the middle console right there where it has uh, the automatic insignias. But this has the emblems that I need. It even has the middle emblem right there. Classic's kind of scratched up. It's got the three emblems on it. So, uh, it's got stuff that I need. So that's good. Bumper's not even there. I'm trying to think. Um, sorry, I'm just looking around. This is going to be a long video. I remember when he first got this. I was wanting the seats out of it, but uh, they're gone. Yeah. So, I know there's two over there. And, uh, I don't think I can get through there. Let's see. It's just dumb weeds. What year is this? It's like this has been opened. Hmm. I know one of these I need to look at for a box for my father's narrow cab. some stuff down here. There goes a cottontail. I didn't mean to disturb her. It was female because she was big and fat. I like she was getting ready to pop some little ones. Hope that didn't cause no stress. Well, this is the one I was originally going to get. But as you can see, I changed my mind because this fair lane it's just a normal fair lane. It's a parts car only. So as you can see, standard Nurse standards come out like this in an angle, or they can come out round. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies are flaring up. Um, this is not styled with the extra soft. This is one grade lower than the 500. It's got a windshield, but. Uh, I don't know if it's any good. Um, is this an automatic or no? It's a. It's a th Actually, I don't know what it is. He's got bezels. I need those. Anything? No, the center deals out. Um. Wow, this thing is really thrashed. That window is actually pretty decent. Um, yeah, 
That's an automatic. Is it an automatic? No. It doesn't look like it. Really can't tell. As I can't see over there. Uh, no, it's a manual. I see it now. Oh, uh, yeah, it was taken out in the center console. That's what threw me off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, back bumper is not too bad. This is what the trunks look like, but I have no idea what's in mine yet. Couldn't tell if I had the backup lights in it or not. So, there's some stuff on this that I need, because uh, she's rough. I mean, um, it's savable, but um, it's absolutely rough. It's, uh, I think the frame's pretty much shot up. The, uh, the center section for the engine in the front's also cut out, so you have to put a new one in. Um, it's just, it's really terrible. We're going to look at this four-door here and see. Same thing, but this one's a 500. Because you can see the difference. The angle, like what was the other one, compared to this. So, this is an automatic as well. Because of the center right there. Hmm. Got the back bumper. It does not have the Continental kits. No skirts. Ooh. Back window was shattered. Yeah, better view on the trunks than these. Oh, I hear Mama Cat and her kitten somewhere. Um. But this one does not have the extra emblems. That bumper is fixable, but it's really, really banged up. You can fix that hole right there. But uh, it'll take a bit. Yeah. There's a another steering wheel, but that is cut. It's no good. Hmm. And this is a 57. Yeah, it's it's seen some better days. There's not really of anything I can get off of this four door. I can back up here without backing up. Yeah, right here's a 57, 58. Huge difference between between the years. But uh, the roofs are almost identical, but uh, you could tell the huge difference. I think the front windows worked. So. Oh, he's got an oil can down here. I'll uh, it's still full. I'll take that back up to him. Yes, I forgot it. And I know some guys out there, it's like, oh, no, this is no good. It's like, no. I've seen guys take cars like this stacked before and uh, fix them up. So this, this ain't really nothing right here. This has to be a 56. Two-door sedan with the post. Four-door sedan with the post. Hmm. Well... There's some stuff down here that I need, but off of these two girls, there ain't nothing, so uh, that's just too bad. <sighs> that's just too bad. Now, that's a Netzel four door station wagon, but it's the Edsel Ranch wagon version. I am not an Etzel fan by any means, but if you want an Etzel four-door wagon, 
he's got one. It's uh, actually pretty decent shape. It's got your common and typical stuff to repair for uh, for a wagon. And right here is a normal ranch wagon, 58 Ford. I almost came close to getting this, but I didn't. I'll probably get something a little bit different in the future. Uh, as you can see, an Etzel and a normal 58 Ford coming through here. Looks like, put this down, yeah, see, tops, pretty much same thing on your Etzel and, and Ford. Looks like this might have been a three speed because that middle section right there that you see where the steering column would be doesn't show the automatic. So this was a. Yeah, I can see the other pedal. This was an old three speed. Uh oh, I better close that a little bit better. There. Etzel Ridge Wagon and a Ford. Uh, as you can see, it's a Ford Ranch Wagon. And pretty much the same kind of back, and there's no backup lights. Uh, there's a lot of stuff in there, probably for the car. I'm not going to rob that because uh, I don't want to get anything off a ranch wagon. So, you got a Nets, again, Netzel, and your Ford. Ooh, almost, almost tripped. Pretty much, same indentations, except for the front clip. So, and the interior on this, uh, this frame, I don't know what to do. I don't know. That looks like a galaxy frame. Hmm. But anyways, this is a you know, this is a four speed. Let's see if I can open up the door here. I mean three speed. I don't know why I said four speed. I'm sorry. There's a lot of stuff in here. Pretty much almost the same thing. A little, there's a tiny bit difference I could see, but uh, it's only in knobs and everything. Also colorization. So, let's grab this for me. So yeah, it's really. Nothing else down here. Everything's getting picked over, so all the others that he had down here are gone. All the other 58, so pretty much the only one that I need parts of is that uh, that four-door over there. So, well, I don't know how long this video blog is going to be, and I know this potato is going to skip, and I'm probably in the sun, sorry. I need to get a better camera once I get uh, things going. Uh, well, I guess I'm going to call this video right there. Because there's uh, really nothing much else going on. That brown Ford there, that's a camper special because the camper is connected onto the cab on its own. I'll go over and show you real fast. No, there's not many known for this. This is factory right here of the camper being attached to the cab. There's no back window in this. I'm not going to open it up. As you can see, camper special. Looks like it's already been parted out a little. This is a three quarter ton, uh, standard. And ooh, she is a 
four speed. Mid 70s. So, well, yeah, it's a shame he got rid of all of his other uh, Fords. So, well, pretty much only one that has a parts, uh, kind of a parts car. So, I'm gonna go up and inquire about it. So, and I am now gonna end this video there. So, if anyone's ever interested on stuff, you can look up Goodrow's Auto Salvage up online, Scott's Bluff, Nebraska. I'm not gonna give the phone number. You have to look that up yourself, nor his address, because if you're serious about this stuff, you gotta do it on your own. Plus, do the privacy laws and everything, and stuff for the internet, so. <sighs> well, I am going to turn this video off. So this is Aaron at Dirt Cattle and Crafts Garage signing out. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you hit this video, give a thumbs down. I'm here. You're my viewer. You're my critics. Come with me. I'm my sibling. Read us however you want to. And if you want to see more videos in the future, click subscribe. Click that bell notification button. We also have a Facebook page and Instagram. So if you want to follow us on those, that's, that's awesome. And also spread the word around. So, oh, by the way, here's a little, a little Triumph Spitfire number four. Two door, hard top. It's a manual, so it's probably a three speed. It's a very, very tiny car. Fox body. Alrighty. I'm going to get out of here now. So, y'all have a good one now. Take care.